Hello, everybody. My name is Eman Feliciano, and welcome to another episode on Miss Earth Crown. Good evening to everyone. And this time, I don't have to say good evening and good morning because we have the same time zone as our guest for tonight. So good evening to everyone in Indonesia and in the Philippines. Tonight, I'm very, very excited because we are going to give the focus on one of the front-running Asian candidates of Miss Earth 2021. And we will get to know her in just a little bit. Just right about now, even before we started the show, we already have been receiving a lot of comments. And we are going to show you that later on, both on Facebook and on YouTube, mind you, because we are now live on three platforms on the Miss Earth Crown Facebook page, on the Miss Earth Crown YouTube page, and on Kumu at my channel on Kumu Eman Mega. So if you have any comments, if you have any love to give, if you want to shout out, Yes, to be heard if you want us to shout you out. And if you want to um, give virtual gifts on Kumu, you can also do that with us. But of course, later on, we will be asking your help because if you want to test our candidate, our guest for tonight uh, with a round of questions, please do hit us up with that. But tonight, I am not the only one who will be in this show because, of course, I have with me my best friend and my co-host for tonight, straight from Manila, Philippines, ladies and gentlemen, Noy Sabilano. Hi! Hello, Earthlings! Magandang gabi from the Philippines and of course, good evening, Eman, from, uh, to everyone in Japan and to all of our Indonesian viewers. Magandang gabi, thank you so much. Yes, Eman is right. And you know what, Eman, personally, I am excited for tonight. You know why? Because in my... I think almost uh, three years of uh, interviewing candidates for Miss Earth, Miss both Miss Philippines Earth and Miss Earth. This is my very first time to interview an Indonesian candidate. Can, can you right, believe that? True. Same yeah, with so, me. Same with yes. me. It's our first and time. Think, and I think for a good reason, we're excited because I think this is the year. I think, and, and I can feel it, Indonesia is going to break through. At Ms. I have Earth. a feeling as well. I'm claim that. That's why we have to find out a little bit more about this candidate. That's why I'm so excited. And I hope all of the fans are also feeling the same way. Right, Eman? I am feeling the same way too. That's why right now, let us introduce our very special In Focus guest for tonight. Miss Earth Indonesia. Let's welcome Monica Conado. <laughs> Mabuhay, Philippines! Hello! Apa kabar semuanya? Hello, everyone! Thank you, Kuya Eman and Kuya Noy. Thank you, Mr. <laughs> for inviting me. I'm so... It's such an honor for me because you told me before that I'm the first Indonesian to be interviewed. Thank yes. you. That means a lot for me. Thank you. We are very honored when we are happy. And thank you very much for the Kuya. See, oh my God, you learned it. Um, from uh, later, we will actually ask you a little bit about that. Like we yeah. backstage before we started the show, Monica told us how she learned some Filipino phrases. So we're going mm -hmm. to ask uh, more about that later. But right now, the comment section is already popping. Wow. Some people have been waiting. Ayan. Um, Bagas Sirengar, who's watching on YouTube, is now shouting Indonesia. Maria Engi Polobelio is already um giving us hearts yes wow. Vidya Paramita who's watching on YouTube yes already um, waving the flag waving waving the flag and Abagas is saying good luck Monica and see we're, uh, those are from YouTube but on Facebook we're also having some comments um, Pisa Pisa Burpan from the Philippines is saying Mabuhay uh, I don't know yes, Mabuhay and, Mabuhay hello 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 Sadie Mi Saldi Miggy. Yes, we have started already. Right now. <laughs> so now um, we are here. You are here with us. Our U.S. correspondent, Ralph Samba, wow. is, of course, as always, Ralph. here with us right now. Hello, Mark Emma. No, sadly, Mark can't be with us right now. It's great seeing you all again. Yes, from YouTube. Let's go back to YouTube. Harley Hardy is saying, mm -hmm. wow, Monica. There you go. Who else? We have other... Um, Comments coming up right now. Oh, Jeline Yayan. Yes, yes, yes. 
you are here on Miss Earth Ground, and we are interviewing Miss Earth Indonesia, Monica. Yes. Yes, and Vidya is like, can't wait. Well, here, here we are. Here we are. It's now time. It's starting. We're starting. Chris Handy is also watching on YouTube <laughs> right now. Yes. Nice. And we are going to read more of the comments later on. Yay. We have so many comments. And Joy Ortines Loyola is saying, hoping for their first placement. And with Monica here with us, I, I think it's very, very possible. There you go. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for all the comments so far. So please do share this live stream to our Indonesian fans. Please do spread the word, share this live stream so that you can all interact with us live tonight yes. on and, Facebook, YouTube, and on Kumu. And Kuya Eman, before we start, our official mascot, Dexter the Cat, is already away. Of I course. Was <laughs> Hi. Hello. Bam Hi. Yes. <laughs> also, let's go to Kumu. Bamboo Rojas on Kumu is saying, Hi, Miss Earth Indonesia. Monica, can you give a shout out to Bamboo? Yes, his Hi, name Bamboo. is Bamboo. There you go, Thank Bamboo. Thank you for the love and support. There you go. Bamboo says, you look gorgeous. Thank you. Yes, yes she does. She does, right? Now, let us begin. So for this afternoon, our goal is to get to know um, Monica more. Because, you know, as... Miss Earth will be on its second virtual edition this year. It is very important for our candidates, for our Earth Queens, to have a platform to showcase more of who they are outside of the preliminary competitions. And that is why Monica is here with us tonight. So for our first segment, we are going to go to what we call our in-focus segment, right? This is what we call so for our in focus segment we are going to ask uh, monica about her life you know outside of miss earth and of course her advocacy talk so we will get to know the different facets of monica right now through this segment and um we are going to ask her some questions of course and noi Yes, let's get the ball rolling. Yes, of course. Again, I'm really excited to do this because we want to really find out who Monica Conado is outside the world of Miss Earth and the world of pageantry. So, Monica, first question. I'd like to find out um, how do people in your, for example, in your circle, like your friends, your family, if they can give like one description about Monica Conado, what would that be? And... Uh, do you agree with the description, if ever? What would be their like perception of you? Just to give us an idea. Mm, I think, okay, this question is hard. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still thinking what, what most of the people think of me. I think most of them thinks that, think that I'm dominant. Because, yes, I'm dominant. I'm a strong woman. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I like to hold on with my belief with my mm -hmm. values that's mm -hmm. why i think i'm a journalist oh, mm -hmm. yeah is, is it okay i i i say it already there i'm a journalist so i think the first word that people that most of the people uh describe me as dominant Ooh, wow. and there is nothing wrong with being a powerful dominant woman yes. who yes. fights for what she believes yes. in right? dominant in a positive way of course yeah. of course Exactly. Yeah. And then um, I'd like to like, do, do a follow through with that. Have you been like that ever since you were younger? I mean, growing up, what was your life like? I mean, uh, were you also like this uh, little kid in the playground that people cannot bully because you are that strong, tough young girl who would like fight them and then would stand up for herself? Well, what, what are you like when you were like a little kid? Yes, I think it's uh, I'm a top person. I'm a dominant person since I was little because mm. I'm raised by my mom who's, who has wow. a impairment. And actually, oh. I'm the oldest uh, child from my family. So I used to like uh, lead my sister, my younger sister and my younger brother since I was a kid. And also, I love to join organizations since I was in the school 
in school. I became the president of a student association in my school, and mm -hmm. I joined also uh, organizations during my university life. And even during my university life, I'm so desperate that I need to earn money even though I, I didn't graduate yet. So I tried to join auditions for news anchor for journalists and mm. thank God I got them and it's my profession until today. So back then I was a working student and wow. I think that trains me to be a tough person. Exactly. Mm. You know what, Sir Eman? Um, isn't it beautiful um, that this is again one testament that strong women raise strong other strong women and you are the perfect example of that right monica sir emman do you have anything you'd like to ask monica yes that? there you go you mentioned that you have been you know you've raised strong you have uh, established being a strong woman independent individual mm -hmm. and uh, because of that i think these were traits that blended yourself perfect for the journal for a journalism career so now uh, you've mentioned that you are a journalist so now tell us more about it as a journalist because there are different beats and assignments um, and roles of a journalist what exactly is it that you do as a journalist so i started actually as a news anchor news mm -hmm. reader actually so i only read news in the studios but then i started to uh be a journalist i covered stories directly to the people and also government. So um, I usually cover stories about social issues, including the environmental issues, but I balance it uh, interviewing people, communities, but also I interview government. So I usually uh, opens up or raise up the social issues to the government, confirming about what the government should do or asking them why why is the government not 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 doing their work properly like mm -hmm. critic them but since i was um since i was chosen as miss earth indonesia i it changed my perspective yeah. i see how the government of indonesia is working hard to uh help the people and also reduce like the global warming and other environmental issues so i try to see all things in a balance way so i i i need to make news that's balanced either it's from the communities or the people's the I side see. of the people and also mm. the side of the government and actually an interesting fact also i would like to share is uh my uh my dream since i was a kid i want to be a doctor medical mm. doctor but then i went to uh the university majoring in civil engineering but then yeah. i work as a journalist so actually it has no connection yes <laughs> so it's an interesting fact about my life but i love it because it's my passion because i believe when we do our passion even though we are tired of it we are tired of our works and activities but if we're passionate about that we could get up again and do the activities again with passion but if we're not passionate about that so i think when we're tired we could easily give up that is yes. true that, that is, is true. true and we can you know we from your words we can hear your passion we can see your passion we can feel your uh, your passion right and now, speaking of passion, um, Sir Noy, yeah, Uya Noy, speaking of, fas <laughs> of passion, uh, I'd like to know how this passion became also, this passion for journalism and for the earth that you gained because of your work as a journalist, how did this, this influence you to become a part of Miss Earth, Indonesia? Yeah, that's a good question. Yes. So actually, uh, just like what I mentioned before, so I have no, no beauty pageant background, but I actually joined a beauty pageant back on my hometown. It's a province, uh, it's a regional kind of beauty pageant before yes. 2015, I think. Mm -hmm. But then I focus on my study and also my career as a journalist. And then here it comes 2020 and there's an open audition for Miss Earth Indonesia. Actually, I'm so interested in 
Miss Earth Indonesia because it talks about environment. And yes. just like what I mentioned before, as a journalist, I love to talk about social issues and uh, giving like vo voicing out voice of the voiceless and be the voice of the voiceless and also yes. like talk to the government converse with them about the issues that's going on and giving solution like only mentioning like what's going on actually in the public in the people within the people that the government didn't even know so i love to uh talk about that and that's how it connects with Miss Earth because Miss Earth is a beauty pageant that really focus on its advocacy, which is the uh, environmental issues. It's not only about beauty, but what can we do? Because beauty, we are beauty uh, with a cause. So that's why I'm so interested in Miss Earth and I joined the audition and thank God I am um, given the opportunity and the responsibility as Miss Earth Indonesia and right now I'm representing Indonesia in Miss Earth 2021 so it's really great and oh I forget to mention something so before uh, since before even when I didn't graduated yet uh, from my civil engineering study yes my research so my paper my research paper for my bachelor degree is about eco-friendly concrete Oh. So that's why I think yeah. uh, I love it. I love talking about environmental issues. And back then, there's a lot of things that happened in my hometown in North Sulawesi in Manado because oh. of the environmental issues, just like the flood and right. even uh, the fire, bush mm -hmm. fire. So that's why I love to talk about environmental issues. I want to educate people what can we do, even from a small things, small steps, small actions, but it has great impacts, positive impacts if we do it together. Correct. That is true. I agree. Yeah. Yes. I think I think Sir Eman, um, we're going to be able to share some of these photos of later. Yeah, um, yeah I think of the the one I, what was that one of the, the the photos you um shared with me, like the, the concrete. I think yes, yes, I think. Yes. So we're gonna be able to show that later. Now, you know what, Sir Emma, and this is a really great start of like getting to know Monica um a little, a little bit more because right now we can see you're really confident, you are yeah. really sure about yourself and why you are true. here. And I think as a Miss Earth candidate and eventually as a Miss Earth Queen, um the commitment level has to be really high because this is no ordinary pageant. I mean, the things that you're going to do as a, a winner. It's the real deal. I mean, you're not going to be able to fool people that I am a Miss Earth Queen and then you're not doing anything. Now, that is why we want to find out like extensively what exactly you want to fight for. Okay, If ever you get the crown of Miss Earth or even if you don't win, win the Miss Earth crown as an Earth warrior. Now is the time for you to share a little bit more about your advocacy. Yeah, so... Since before, uh, since I was a finalist of Miss Earth Indonesia, I stick with two advocacy, which is waste management, a good waste management, and also um, increasing green open spaces. So mm. why? Because I think the the global warming is the roots of most environmental issues. So it really connects with almost all environmental issues that's going on it's because of the global warming it's because of the climate change and how to tackle that i ha uh, i focus on this to the waste management and the waste management it's a uh, large large uh it has a wide range but i want to focus like what can we do reducing like reducing plastic use single plastic single use plastic and also what we most of us didn't really aware about it's the fashion waste so fashion is really important i'm using my clo clothes a kuya noi and kuya eman is also wearing clothes clothes so we can really go out from our houses or from our home without clothing so i also so i i want to educate people i educate people about this slow fashion movement how so we use you, we're uh do, we don't have to be um, what what to say 
uh, we are we don't have to be uh, embarrassed mm -hmm. by buying thrift, thrift right. coffee, by thrifting. Mm -hmm. In Indonesia, right. we say a lot with thrifting. So it's real. It's it's really helpful to reduce the fashion waste, and also yeah. we can also use the clothings that's already in our closets. Mm. Actually, I love using my mom's clothings. So I love to like open the closets of my mom and like there's her clothings that's not not fit anymore with her, yes. and it's from the 80s and 90s. Right. And yeah. It it's really the quality is really good because now in 2021 we could still use that the jeans are still in a good quality even though it's mm. it's it's produced from it's a production of from the 90s it's really great it's really great and i use that and maybe some of the people will say oh no it's it look old you look old with that but no if we're creative enough and we're confident we could just mix and match that and we use that like i use them uh, i wear them while going to the mall and even hanging out with my uh, families and my friends nothing's wrong with that and it's True. even really great because people will see and ask oh wow, that jeans looks good from where uh where did you get that jeans and I'm proud to say that this is my mom's from the 90s and from the 80s. And even, <laughs> for example, the jacket. Where did you get that jacket? It's really great. I think that's gorgeous. I, I'm proud to say that I thrifted it. And mm. it's really great because I think uh, this slow fashion movement, I, we need to raise the awareness of the people about this, the yeah. importance of the slow fashion movement and also the food waste because food yes. is also something that we can't live without besides clothings and even the food is more important and also about the recycling so and bank waste, waste bank. So I work with my government back in my hometown with the government to do to make policies about this waste bank so we 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 educate people we educate the communities to build develop waste bank where people could bring their waste sorted waste to this waste bank and this waste bank will uh will bring them to a recycling center where mm -hmm. the waste will be recycled so yes. that's, that's about yeah. the waste management good uh -huh. waste management and about the green open spaces green open yeah. spaces is really important actually i realized how important it is, it is about this green open spaces while i'm in my study and while i'm learning about civil engineering because one of the one of the subjects we'll learn in civil engineering is about this environmental techniques, I think, environmental engineering, but it's only one subject there. But it's really important. I learn how a good waste management site should be and how important it is to have green open spaces. And also the policies, the government, Indonesian government policies stated that every building should have 30% of the land should be a green open spaces. So it's really important to increase the green open spaces. And green open spaces also uh, leads me to do my research, my paper research for my bachelor degree for civil engineering. That's why I research for this eco-friendly concrete because mm. I want to balance the development of infrastructure and also the environment. So we can we can stop the development of infrastructure because of the environment, but we can also just <clears throat> our eyes about the environment to develop right. infrastructure. So that's mm. why I want to 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 search for a solution about that. And that's why I do a research about this eco-friendly concrete, which is a porous concrete where yeah concrete we can use them as uh uh the roads in the roads mm. and it could absorb no actually it's not it's not absorbing the water but 
it could just uh, let the water flow from the concrete. Yes. It right. will not be, it will not result into a flood like flood, that. So yes. Because it's absorbed by the soil below Ooh, the concrete. The below the concrete. concrete. But I'm still on research about that actually. So back on 2019, it's my research paper. But right now, I'm also working on it. And mm -hmm. I work also right now with uh, or with a community. Yes. It's more amazing because he transformed the waste uh, face mask, the medical yes. mask, and also the cigarettes butts into Ooh. concrete. Into concrete. Wow. Wow. You know, that's wow, amazing. really amazing. And I'm so uh, curious about that because maybe because I have a, an educational background uh, for a civil engineering. But yes. it's really wow. great because it could help us reduce the waste, the True. face mask waste during this pandemic and also the cigarette butts. Uh, for our information, the cigarette butts have their, uh, something in them made from plastics. So mm. it's also yeah. uh, it also bad for our environment and yes. it's stuck up into uh, big waste. Yes, That's true. That you know, what's true. Em, yeah, sir, Emma, just a little like, follow through before I give, give you the floor. I'm really, really um, happy to hear that you have number one, um, slow fashion and uh, fast fashion. And these are the things that most people do not know about, but it's a really important issue that we need to really um put the spotlight on definitely because um the fashion industry is really one of the top contributors in the, the pollution around the world and people do not know that they think that um it's just there and then it doesn't really contribute True. to the pollution that's True. why i'm happy you're putting that there and number two sir Eman, this is very important if you could ever like crystallize that plan of like using face masks and for and turn them into concrete i mean my God, it's going to be the lifesaver that we need during the pandemic. Not only because of the the waste management or the waste of problem, but then of course it's going to be like a, an eco-friendly and sustainable way of like doing infrastructure, which is a really great thing, right, Sir Emma? That is true. That is true. And of course, you know, I am very amazed. I am so amazed by the passion with which you Correct. talk about everything and then you know what you're doing and you know what you're talking about and that is very important um, as a queen and uh, it's just it's amazing how we can listen to you talk and we are just amazed and we never get tired of it i mean yes. i feel like we can do this all night but of course we don't have all the time but it's like it's so nice to listen to monica, Maybe next time. <laughs> monica the whole night but thank you yeah. very much for all those that you've shared good job yes thank you very much now, we want to ask you, before we go to our next segment, and before we read the comments of our viewers, who, there are sure a, lot a lot of comments yes. waiting or to be read. Um, so what part of, what lesson from your current, from civil engineering and from journalism, are you going to bring to mm -hmm. Miss Earth that you think will make you Great. stand out? Because I work as a journalist, something that uh, I hold on is about educating. So yes. I want to educate people. I don't want to force anyone. I told this, I mentioned this on my eco video. I don't want to force anyone because, because I live as a journalist, I see how people just like uh, forced to do something because of the government policies, for example, mm -hmm. or because mm -hmm. of the uh, what people ask them to do and they do it just like they do it today but tomorrow it's not it's not important for them to do to do that so right. i don't want to force anyone i don't want to force people to to act like mm -hmm. me or to help me to preserve the earth like what i yeah. do but i want to educate them because I believe when I educate people, when we educate people, and when the people were educated, they will act based on their own decision with their That's true. own heart. They, they knew what, what's wrong and what's right. When they're educated, they know. I, I, I then I realized that the environment is important the environment is important for our children, for our uh, next generation. Right. And I want to preserve it. I want to 
save the earth and it will be a sustainable action because when we're educated and we do things or we act based on our own decision it will be a sustainable action and right. it's really great and we will be passionate about that because just like i mentioned before if you're passionate about that so maybe like me sometimes or kuya noi kuya emman will be tired of talking about environmental issues or tired of recycling or sorting waste at waste in our home but because of our passion we will go back doing that again and mm-hmm. again even it's though it's hard. So that's right i want to educate people and i want to share a slogan or a motto from my country indonesia sure uh, to be specific from north sulawesi north sulawesi province it's sito timo tumoto which means Ooh. in indonesia manusia hidup untuk memanusiakan orang lain and in english it's translated as we live to educate others so it's we live actually to educate people so we we're not we're we didn't live to force people to act but we educate people so that's what i hold on wow. uh, i believe to educate people that is amazing. thank you very much thank can you just please crown much. her right now can oh right <laughs> oh, hello thank you this is oh, what this earth goodness. needs i love that i love that you have a solid motto we live to educate others and definitely monica Beautiful. lives to educate others yeah to educate us right now because yeah. of your very very good performance right now the comment section is popping oh my god with a lot of like see out. see no you just said crown her already and uh um harley harley is just you know putting all those crown emojis right and then uh with all the V- Vanya is just like Monica, <laughs> like that, <laughs> with, with all the energy. exclamation, <laughs> with all the energy right now. And um, what else do we have? Uh, and then we also have Eduardo Samson Domingo. Sir dudes, See? the yes, Hi, uh, Sir dudes, <laughs> Sir dudes is here with us. Uh, best of luck, Monica. You, your <laughs> sir, dudes is here supporting you 100. Hi to my you. good friend Noi Sabilano. Hi, sir, dudes. Thank you for making this interview possible. Of course. Yes. Yes. Thank, you. Thank you, sir, dudes, for making this interview possible. It's because of the sir, dudes. Thank you, thank Yay. you. Oh, I, could, yes. I could meet Kuya Noi and Kuya Emma because of yes. the sir, dudes. Oh, thank you. Yes. yes, thank you, sir, dudes. And you know what? Um, Kentoy Cabio is saying it's time for Indonesia. We agree. And we, we agree. agree. Ta- <clears throat> yes, uh, Tang Mo is says, uh, saying beautiful queen. Yes. Okay, then let's read other. Jenny's. A lot of people are watching on YouTube right now too, huh? I love it. Yeah. Um, Janica, Janice per- Pereira is saying um, Indonesia. Yes, Indonesia. Okay, good luck, dear, says Play. Let's um, have other unique. Um, Jay Aquino, yes, beautiful. Hope she'll make it. Got the first ever placement for Indonesia oh, yes. on Miss oh, Earth. Yes. We can smell it. We can feel it. So Sophie, Sophie, long time no see, Sophie. Welcome Hi, back Sophie. to Miss Earth Crown. Sophie Krugman uh, says she's articulate. Looking forward to your placement in the finals. Right, L John TV saying so gorgeous, Queen. Oh my God! We have so many, and then Alvin <laughs> yes, I'm looking saying, at it right now. Right, uh, with her in. The, sorry, I'm looking at the other screen, um, the bigger screen. With her, Indonesia will place in this year's edition of Miss Earth. There are many beautiful and intelligent women, women, but with her passion, to her advocacy, she will make it. Yeah. There you go. Yes, yes, yes. And then um, Cooper says. It's right for you to choose Miss Earth because the Miss Earth, Miss Earth is the best fit pageant system for you. I wish you good luck. Hope you'll get the first placement for Indonesia. You're very passionate and very true to your cause. Yes. And the Roth ER is saying, I'm very, maybe very sure or very confident, yes, that Indonesia will be our on top. Yes. And I be... 
I don't know what you mean by this. Uh, uh, okay, next one. Richard. Yes, Richard Rosal. Continue what you are doing. Of course, uh, yes. For the environment. Yes, and Vanya is just saying goals. Go Indonesia. <laughs> yes. I love this one. Who, um, Ku Kuiper is saying... I'm, I agree with you, Monica. I'm also on a fashion diet for years yeah, That's the first time I heard that fashion wow. First time I said that. First time. Fashion <laughs> diet. Yes to sustainable fashion. No to fast fashion. We all, we, You know what, Monica? Uh, whenever we read comments from our Earthlings, we also learn a lot from them. Correct. correct. Like now we're learning um, from, from uh, is it an I? Kuiper. Uh, yes. Um, it's fashion diet. Okay. Yes. Yes. And then another um, pageant vloggers here. We love you, Monica, from Philippine oh. Pageants in Miss Philippines. Hello. And let's have our last um, um, comment uh, <laughs> showcase for now. Sandra G Geraldine is giving a clap. Valencia saying, perfect package. There you go. Thank you very much for all your... Yeah. We are so amazed. Thank you very much. For all your comments. And you know yes. what? Right now, it's time for you not only to give us your comments, but also to participate. Exactly. Because yes. we have a special game. This is and we, we will also get to know Monica more in this special game because it's time to... And it's not just play with the queens, but play with our queen right now. Because what we're going to do, what we will be asking you to do is this, okay? If you know, let's make it bigger. There you go. If you know Kahoot, yes, the Kahoot app. Um, if you have the Kahoot app, app or you, if you have a browser, play this game with us. This is so much fun. This is a game that everybody all around the world can play. No matter where you are in, around the world, you can play this game. All you have to do is is go to Kahoot, K-A-H-O-O-T dot I-T. And then we have a game pin. It's 486-9455. Am I correct? Yes, it is. Yes. 486-9455. And then enter that pin and then enter your nickname, whatever nickname you want to, to enter. It's up to you. Let's give you some mystery right there. <laughs> and then... Correct. Uh, and we can play this game together. So we have some random facts, facts about the environment, and of course, some fun facts about Monica. So yes. for those who know Monica and who want to know Monica more, this game is also for you. Okay. Yes. So I'm going to show you now the actual Kahoot, um, Kahoot screen. Sorry. I Here we go. We're going to show you the actual Kahoot screen. Yeah. So sorry, I mean, while you're doing that, again, all of the fans who were um, commenting a while ago, now is your chance to play not only our Kahoot game for today, but play with Queen Monica herself right now. Because Monica, I think you're going to join the Kahoot. Is that right? Yes. I'm yes. joining right now. Yeah. Yes, oh. there you go. We have, yeah. wow, you guys are really fast. We now have four, uh, five, six yeah. Earthlings joining us. I love yes. it. Yes. So maybe, sir, I mean, while we're, um, I mean, while we're waiting for the, the fans to, and the fans are just uh, continuing continue to pour in, um, Monica, I'd like to ask, what are your current preparations right now? I think you're done with the um, intelligence round. Am I right? Yes, how was it? Right. How, how was the whole experience of like doing the intelligence round? Oh, I so watched it. The eco intelligence round is combined with the eco video. Yeah. Yeah. I'm so nervous actually, but thank God I could answer the questions. And because we're limited with the time, we are given only two minutes for the interview for the Eco Intelligence Round. I do my best to uh, answer the question and to uh, let the world know mm -hmm. about what Indonesia is doing, what Indonesia is doing on preserving the earth. And what yes. can we do also uh, about this environmental issues that's going on? And I don't want only to, as a Miss Earth, because I represent mm -hmm. I represent Indonesia. I want to also talk about Indonesia, but also as a Miss Earth, a part of Miss Earth organization, I want to also talk about 
the environmental issues in the world. So yes, what can we do? What can we, uh, from where we could take an example, a good example for these environmental issues, and we could apply it in Indonesia or vice versa. So yes. it's really amazing that round. I'm so nervous, but yet I uh, thankfully I could mention it and I could answer the question and I could present my eco video about Indonesia. No, we actually watched the intelligence round and you did really well. So congratulations on that one. Okay, We can't wait to see you in Thank the other you. rounds. So we can't wait to see you in the Thank other you. ones. Look. Look at our screen. So many um, of our Earthlings are joining right now. I love it. We love it. Okay. Some people, I think, are changing their... Um, welcome back, Noi. Some people yes. are changing their... We're going to give you 20 more seconds to join. Yes, yes. And then after 20 seconds, then we are going to start. So 20, okay. 19, 18, 17, 16, 15... 14. Come on. Some people are changing their names. <laughs> 13. I wonder why. I don't know. Yeah. 12. 11. And come on, guys. Nothing uh, wrong with joining. 10. Nine. 9. 8. 7. 6. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Okay. Now let's start. <laughs> Yay, let us let's, begin let's the see game. if we can beat okay. Monica in this game. Let's see. Let's yes. see. Yes. We have um I love we have Bamboo Bamboo. Thank you very much for joining. <laughs> and also before we start, I'd like to greet the people on Kumu. We have um Ate Roan, Denise, Palabastayo. Hi, Paul. Hi. Hello, Paul. <laughs> Miss Shine. Ate Shine. Hello, hello. So and thank you, Bamboo, for staying with us and for even joining the game, huh? Let yes. us begin the game. Are you ready, guys? Here you go. Here's our very first question. It's a quiz question. In which continent can one find the driest place on Earth? Ah, Ooh. interesting fact. Is it Asia, Africa, South America, or Europe? Uh, in which actually, I learned about this only today, Sir Eman, when I was searching. You guys are fast. The correct answer was the correct answer is Africa. Unfortunate. Uh, and uh, sorry, no. the correct answer is South America. South America. America. Sorry, Interesting sorry. fact. Interesting yes. fact. It's not in Africa where no, the driest place on Earth is, but it is in, in South. South. America. America. Specifically, Sir Eman, I agree, Eman, I check it, it's in Chile. Yes. yes <laughs> and because yes. it's Chile, I think it's there. <laughs> I'm not too sure why. <laughs> because it's Chile, it's really hot. Okay, yes. there you go. That's why it's in South America. Oh, yes. that's a bit of information to know. No, so, mm. so far, nobody got to our leaderboard. But why is Ralph Sambat on top? <laughs> Even if he has zero point, because Why? Kahoot is not just a game about the correct answer. It's also about the game of speed. How fast yes. you click that answer. So you have to answer right and click fast. Okay, let's go All to right. the next round. Okay, I think this one, Monica is going to be able to um, get this right. She's a journalist who actually graduated with a civil engineering degree. If you have Super been false. listening, if you have been listening yes. to us, you will know this. Is it true or false? Monica Beautiful is a photo, journalist. By the way. Who, I love it. Yeah. Who graduated with a civil engineering degree. Yes. The correct answer is true. Two people were late today <laughs> in the in the show. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't see that part, but the correct answer is true. Imagine, right? She's a journalist. Now she's a Miss Earth Queen and she has a, a civil engineering degree. Look at how multifaceted. Yeah. Um, That's Monica why it's mind blowing, Monica, right? Right? Exactly. <laughs> and who is uh, on our leaderboard? We have, ooh, Bamboo. Hi, Bamboo. Look at you, Bamboo. Hey, 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 Paul. <laughs> Palabastayo, Patchy, Ralph, Samba, yeah, hey. And there are two Bamboos in this um, competition, making sure that both Bamboos are in the top five. You, Bamboo, yes, yes, yes. making sure. Okay, next one. Okay. Sir Eman, 
True or false? Red is the first color an infant recognizes. Is it true or false? What do you think? And to all of our fans, even if you're not on Kahoot, you can answer on the comment section. Yes, right? yes, yes. Answer on the comment section below. Yes. Oh, oh. Bamboo, dalawang ano mo, ha? Entry mo, bamboo, ha? Okay. Next, it's the correct answer is true. True. Red is the first yes. color an infant recognizes. Okay. Yes, a lot of them got it correct. Oh, well, the two bamboos more... got booted out of the top and, five. And, and Monica have... is back. Uh, it's actually in the top three now. Hey, Monica. Yay! Yes. <laughs> we have Janice, Patchy, Monica, Ruff, ER, and Earthlings. Representing Yay. all Earthlings. Noi, how about our fourth question? All right. Of course, again, about mind-blowing Monica, our queen yesterday was born and raised in, if you were listening. Yes. Java, Jakarta, North Sulawesi, or Sumatra. Choose the yes. correct answer of if course. you were listening oh. or yeah. if you're on time. Right, if you Eman? were not late and if you were <laughs> <Yes>. listening. <laughs> mm -hmm. The correct, oh. yes. Good job, guys. The correct answer is North Sulawesi. Yes. All right. <clears throat> of course. Yes, Monica. Monica. Yes. Mon okay. <laughs> I'm on top. <laughs> you, cannot, you cannot compete with Monica. She's really uh, com uh, competitive, <clears throat> right? Monica's on top right now. So, Monica uh, followed by um, only by two points, rough ER. Very, very close. Okay. Yes. Then, yay, yay. Earthlings and Dika now on uh, the top. Okay. Now, let's go to the fifth question. Now, another mind-blowing Monica fact. True or false? Monica's greatest inspiration is her mother. Again, if you were here from the very beginning. I love how you yeah. said again. Uh, yes. Oh, Ready, teacher. Yes. Yay. There you go. Everybody got it correctly. No wrong. Nobody got it wrong. Okay. Yay. Yay. Oops. Rough ER was oh fast in God. answering, but only by two points. Come on. Okay, so we have the following here on the top five. Now we have the last question, sir. All Kuya right. Noi. True or false? It is humanly impossible to hum while you hold your nose. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I have I have a feeling I know the answer. Of course, you tried it. <laughs> <laughs> Duh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. The correct answer is true, and that is true because humming is actually a nasal uh, voice. Yes. Nasal. So that's so why you smart, cannot hum so when smart you. To you use. Of course, I'm a singer. <laughs> 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 okay, here we All go. All right. Yeah, so let's see if Monica was able to get a top spot or at least in the top three. Let's see. Dika is on third place. Congratulations, Followed Dika. Monica! Oh, yay! yay! And. Our top uh, performer is Ruff ER. Yay. Congratulations, guys. Yes, I screenshot that one, definitely. Oh, let me screenshot this one, too. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, there you go. Thank you very much. Wow, Yay. that was fun. Thank you to all of our fans for joining. That was a, a real fun segment, right, Sir Eman? It it's was always, a really great always a fun segment uh, whenever we do that. So thank you very much for... We, the, we had a lot of players. Thank you very much for yes. being with us. And okay. Monica, second place, huh? Not bad. Yeah. That is true. That <laughs> is true. And we have a lot of... Because it's about me, but I think... The people knows me more. That's true. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes, the people know yes. you. Yes, yes, that's true. I love that they know you. Uh, so Bamboo got the fourth place. Uh, Bamboo is uh, messaging us on Kumu. I got fourth place. Yay. Yes, there you go. Good enough, Palabas, yes. tayo. Palabas tayo says, I can hum while holding my nose. <laughs> Maybe I'm not human. <laughs> yes. He or said, or maybe we think Kumu. you have a problem with your nose or your vocal cords. That is true. You have true. to get yourself checked. <laughs> that is true. Okay. Now we have um, other... Yes. Other what is comments, happening? I think. There are some yeah. comments. Um, saying what? Ralph is actually saying, 
you brought back my memories from my high school days. I took journalism oh. and I was part of the Earth Watch Club <sighs> where we did cleanups and other exciting things. I'm glad to have you as a friend, Monica. There you go. Thank you very much, Raul. Yay. Yes. Ah, a Kuiper is explaining his name. Kuiper Belt. It's part of the outermost region of the solar system. Oh, uh, see, I was, <laughs> we're learning so much from Kuiper today. I love it. Kuiper so thank smart. You, thank you, Kuiper. Thank, thank you. Thank you very much, Kuiper. There you thank go. So you. those are our... Uh, um, Raf ER is saying no price. Hi, Raf. <laughs> um, <laughs> Ruff, uh, please answer me. You know what? We can work that out. Are you based in Manila, uh, Ruff ER? If you're based in Manila, then I can give you a prize. Oh, wow. right? Wow. If, you, if you're based in Manila, I can give you a prize. If you're in the Philippines, if you are yeah, in the yeah, Philippines, yeah. message us, message us. Okay. Now, um, let's go to our Eman is a singer. Yes. Oh, oh, palabas tayo. I am. Let's go to our next segment. <laughs> And our next segment is where we get to know Monica more, but not verbally only, but using her photos. Let me see. Oh, where, where is the placeholder? I do not have the animation. Ah, I have it. Let's go to our next segment. And this is <laughs> Picture perfect. Yes, so we are going to Look at some of Monica's um, photos and uh, let's let her talk about um, the memories that she, the background stories of these photos, shall we? Okay, let's go to the first photo and this is these. Look at these photos. We have a collection of photos. Wow. Yes, can you? Wow. Look at you looking not only professional but beautiful. Can you tell us uh, about these photos collectively, Monica? Yeah, so this photos are uh, were taken when I work as a news anchor so besides working as a journalist directly interviewing the government and also the people I also work as a news anchor in the studio I read news and I also interviewed people interviewed government in the studio so that's what you're looking at right now my photos were while working as a news anchor and also a moderator there you go. Good job. Yes, thank you very uh, much. Right? Really, really nice. See? Yeah, we, so, and Sir we Eman, also one, actually... one quick follow through. Yes, yes. yes. Okay, yeah. One quick follow through, Sir Eman. Um, since you're a journalist, um, what was one of the, if, if, if I'm allowed to ask this, like the most um, memorable news um, that you featured? Most memorable, maybe the most important that you have uh, featured mm -hmm. in, recent, um, in recent years? I think most of them are memorable. I it's hard for me to choose one, mm -hmm. but I think I um, I will choose the Ice Forum. So it's an archipelagic island state forum, and on 2019, the host country is Indonesia, and it's in North Sulawesi. So mm. my, my hometown, and I featured the story featured the news about that i covered the story i even do i i became the presenter for the live live streaming for the live streaming in the tv so it's really amazing there because i learned a lot from them i because it's a combination of leaders from archipelagic countries indonesia mm -hmm. Maldives. Yeah. yeah i think philippines is there mm -hmm. i forget about that in Timor Leste, and the most memorable one is the Timor Leste one. When I interview the representative from Timor Leste, it's the first president of Timor Leste. So it's mm -hmm. Sanana Gusmao. If you ever heard that, yes, thing, yes, it's Sanana Gusmao. He is the first president of Timor Leste, and during that time, 2019, he was like the um, leader for marine or the the marine thing in marine section for his country and i always remember what he says what he said during the interview he said the forum is nothing if we only talk about that so we need I to see. evaluate the actions 
evaluate mm -hmm. what we talk about this year during the next in the next year we need to evaluate what we do what we act not only what we talk about that and is right it's memorable also because i have a funny story because i live in indonesia the mm -hmm. government and the people are not so they're friendly but it's our culture not to kiss the, like for example i will not kiss my the governor or the governor governor will not kiss me but right. i it's the culture in timor leste it's so friendly that sanana guzmo after the interview he kissed me he kissed uh -huh. me in the cheek and i'm i'm surprised at that time but i i think it's funny and it's so friendly of him so it's right. somehow memorable about what I learned, what I what I learned from the ICE forum or Archipelagic Island State Forum, and also about that thing, that story. It's, it's memorable. <laughs> and funny. That was very memorable indeed. Wow, yeah. I see. See, just from these photos, you, we can already see some. We can already uh, recall some memories. How about the memories that you see when you look at these photos? Wow. <laughs> so this is the most recent one. So yeah. I went to Kalimantan, Kalimantan Tengah, it's central Kalimantan, or I think the international people know it, knows it as Borneo. So it's in mm -hmm. central Borneo. Yes. I went to forest, to the forest, to release ex-captive or an oh. So in Kalimantan, actually, in Borneo, there is a lot of orang utans there and mm -hmm. they like to when the people see them uh walking around like in the society like mm -hmm. going out in their forest they the people uh thinks that well it's so cute when they're babies right. like right. when orangutans are babies right i think i i find it cute too but actually it's not good for the orangutan to be treated as a pet in her home but some of the people were not educated, mm -hmm. uh, were not so educated yet about that. So they took the orangutan babies, orangutan home, and why? And when they're big enough, their wild in instinct is uh, going. Uh, uh, is more and more looks like wild because actually right. they're wild. So yes. they call on to the government. And the government, the rescue team will pick them. And this orange attend because they're, uh, they're, how how should I say that? Uh, they're treated as a pet for too long, and they mm -hmm. they lost their wild instinct. So I see. Not it's not good for them to be released back directly to the forest because the risk is they, it's possible for them to die in the forest. Right. If, they are not fed, right. visit, then they can't they can't make or build their own nest. So That's true. they are they are uh before released back to the forest, they are trained to be wild again. Right. <laughs> so if I the see. human were 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 trained to be calm <laughs> and educated, it's right. different from the orangutan. The orangutan were trained to be wild. Wild. And I when see. you're wild Correct. They are released back to the forest, and it's really amazing because I work with my TV station and also with the government to join the release of these ex captive or an Uten back to the forest. And I slept there. I stay in the forest for three nights and four days. Wow! We have no electricity, we have no electricity there, and oh my we God. we took a bath with the water directly from the river there the river the forest is situated uh in the river so yes. it's really an amazing journey wow. it's an amazing experience to be able to have that experience it's really amazing and also the other photo is uh, -huh. uh yes we'll go back honey what it is said in, in in oh we can really see but actually i'm holding a baby honey bear i think in indonesia oh, that was a honey bear. Okay. honey bear yeah i don't know if what they call yes uh yes honey bear i think mm -hmm. and it's a baby honey bear which is um 
train also to be wild again. I see. So that's what I do with my TV station and also government. That's amazing. Thank you very much for telling us more about that. See, that photo is very, very rich, right? Thank you. Now, let's go to another one. And I think this one, you are going to be proud of this photo. Let's look. Hi, that one. Tell us more about this. I think you you can already guess what it is. Yes. <laughs> because I mentioned it before. So yes. my research paper for my bachelor degree in civil engineering, it's about this eco-friendly concrete. It's the porous concrete. It's one kind of a of an eco-friendly concrete. And this is it. It's not really uh, a successful research yet, but I'm still working on it. I want to uh, finalize it. And this is how it looks like. So this concrete is consists of only uh, large aggregates and also medium aggregates mm -hmm. and cement without mm -hmm. without sand. Ah, uh, without That's sand. why it's porous. Yes, it's porous. It has pores in them and yes. it could uh, let the water flow within them. That's, I think that's uh, I, how I could describe this porous concrete. It's I a see. one kind of an eco-friendly concrete. There's that's right. a lot of eco-friendly concrete, but this is one of them. One of them, one kind. Yeah, because it saves because you don't you don't have to get the sand from the beaches and the seashores because these this is sand free. I think that is one. Oh, yes. and okay. because it could it could let the water flow. So if we use this concrete ah, as right. the road, as the uh, besides from asphalt, because yeah. if we use asphalt, the water could the asphalt couldn't let the water flow. But right. using this this porous concrete when we use it as the road. So the water, when it's raining, the water will flow and the soil be below this concrete will absorb the water. So it will reduce the risk of flood. Flooding. That's why it's yeah. called the eco concrete. That is so amazing. Thank you very much, Monica. Now, let's go a little bit to... Um, uh, your other facets okay this one i we love this photo of you can you tell us more about this one wow, wow. look at that fabulous photo yeah, right? so this, is, this is me with my top five of this earth indonesia 2020 they are saira and also vidya ines and Natasha, this are my Earth sisters in Indonesia. Wow, they are love great. it. They have real advocacy, and they still work on them until today. Also, so it's really amazing to have the sisters with me, and they supported me, fully supported me. So it's really amazing, and I'm blessed to have them. Yes, yes, I'm well, we sure. I'm sure. We hope they're watching right now. Hello. Yes, thank you very much. Uh, and then for the last photo, this one we've seen. Um, tell us wow. about your experience with this one. Yes, so I took this photo uh, for my talent show in yes. this Earth 2021. So a little bit about this dance. So actually, I danced. It's a simple dance, actually, but why I choose this dance? Because it has a deep meaning. It symbolizes the piece of bird. So piece of bird is the birds that's found in Minahasa, mm -hmm. North Sulawesi, Indonesia. It's my hometown also in Minahasa, back, uh, to, back to my hometown. And uh, it symbolizes the people because it could these piece of birds works together in flocks just like the people who works together even even though we are different uh, we have maybe we have different names and different family name we came from different family we have different culture but we still we still work together and for in a positive way to make positive impacts just like this birds and also they are adaptive this birds 
are adaptive wherever they go they could adapt well in that situation and they in that place and the same also like uh the people in minahasa and also even the people in indonesia we are adaptive we could uh we could follow the policies well and we we are open for foreigners and also even we're even though we are different we know i think the world know that indonesia is so rich for its culture race and even all i think all religions are found in indonesia but we're still mm -hmm. so united i'm right. so uh, i'm so blessed and i love living in indonesia because we live in harmony even though we're different and a story about my family so me and my brother and yeah me and my brother live in the same home in the same mm. house but mm -hmm. we have different religions I so see. we were believe we have different beliefs but mm -hmm. it's so amazing how we were polite to each other and right. polite about our like for example when i'm celebrating my uh belief my religion religious day yes my brother is uh supportive about that and also vice versa so it's really amazing. I love Indonesia and I think most of the people in the world, also the countries and also I think Philippines also uh, yes. are the same because most of my teachers, I grow up with Filipinos because I went to a school where most of the teachers were Philippines since I was in the second grade of elementary until I graduated high school. So it's about 11 years I spent yes. with Filipinos. <laughs> Yes, that's actually one of the things. That's the reason why you you know the words kuya and yes, salamat. Yes, yes. Aside from kuya, what other Filipino um, um, expressions do you know? I mentioned this, but I'll mention yes. it. Yes. So one of my teacher, really, when uh, his she's teaching in class, she likes to say. Hi, Nakoba. But <laughs> I don't even know what's the meaning of it. But I, I find it funny, and even my classmates find it funny that we still, we're still remember. reminded about that. We still, That's uh, we're still, like when we, when we're uh, having a reunion, we still, we still talk about that. Hi, Nakoba. Hi, Nakoba. <laughs> Please tell me what's the meaning of that. Hi, Nakoba. Right? Am I correct? Uh, yeah, no, when you say hi, it's like, oh my goodness. It's yeah. like, uh -uh. yes, yes. Out of frustration, they say, especially Filipino teachers, you know what? The best person to ask, Sir Dudes, if you're still watching right now, explain <laughs> to Monica what hi, oh, oh. means. I think we've, yes. uh, uh, you've been doing that, you've we've done this with our Zobel students while and when we were teaching in Zobel back then. So, hi, you know, this. hi, Nako. <laughs> I hope my teacher is not watching. <laughs> let's hope, let's hope. Let's do that. Yes, thank you very much, Monica. And that was our uh, that was our last uh, that's our picture perfect yes. round. Okay. And now we're going to our last segment for tonight. This is your chance to Take over and ask Monica yes. questions because this is our Yes, now it's time for Earthlings Ask because this time um, this time we will be giving you the floor to ask some questions. Yes. yes, we're going to give you the floor to ask some questions to Monica. This is our Earthlings Ask segment. So in uh, earlier we ask you to prepare your questions already. And now, if you want to ask her some questions, yes. Um, oh, there you go. Which pageant? Uh, <laughs> I love it. Palabastayo is also watching on YouTube right now. Q&A time. Now, before okay. we ask Palabastayo's question, Noy, Sir Noy, do you have any? For example, this is already pageant questions. Yes, right? yes, yes, yes. Yes. Um, okay. may, maybe not a passion question, but um, maybe you can um, tell, uh, let's share a little bit of how are you preparing for the very important final Q&A. For example, I were already claiming it that you're going to be there on, on top, right? 
like how are you preparing like for like with Sir Dues and your team? What are the things that you are doing right now to make sure that you are fully prepped for that for that time? Yeah, so I'm still preparing. Um, I prepare for my, I still train for my catwalks and also for my public speaking and also my English with Mr. Dudes, Sir Dudes, because I went to an international school like for 11 years, but after then I went to a public university uh, where they speak in Indonesia. So my English is a little bit rusty, but thank God, mm. thankfully I have Sir Dudes who, Yes. who wants to train me and it's really helpful for me and also i'm preparing for my catwalk i mentioned it before my catwalk my uh style my um my clothings my dresses and what do you wear during the virtual event because i think it's somehow different when we uh prepare for work prepare what to wear during mm. online or online meetings. We need to right. yes. to search or we need <clears throat> to find uh, something that's <clears throat> catch, eye-catching camera right, like right. that. So I that's really true. prepare yeah. that. I want to give my best. I want to give my best for that. Yes, that and we are actually right. praying for you to um, really get there when you have to like do your the Q&A at right the end. Sir Dudes, congratulations in advance. You're doing a great job um, helping out Monica. This has been a really fluid, really great interview. We're so happy that we're doing this conversation right now. And it's because of you and also because of your training. So congrats in advance. There you go, Sir yes. Eman. Sir Eman. Thank you. I just want to uh, give a comment here. Uh, I show a comment. This is so cute. Thank you very much. Uh, Pageant Indonesia is saying thanks for the questions for Monica. Smart boys, Filipinos. <laughs> That's so cute. Thank you very much, Pageant Indonesia. Okay, now hello. let's ask a question. <laughs> Palabas Tayo who, who, that, who, um, is a website and a ch also a channel on Kumu where I also work as a DJ. Um, Palabas Tayo has a question. Q&A time. This is a smart question. Assuming you've thoroughly prepared for every issue and topic there is. For example, you already prepared a lot. Which pageant question would you most dread answering? Oh, it's like, is there a pageant question that is like, I don't want to answer this question, <laughs> you know? Is there any question that is like that for you? Um, I think if, we're, if we have already thoroughly prepared for every issue and topic, I think we must be prepared for every question. So I think... <laughs> I. Uh, to choose one, I think I can choose one. I think I oh, have okay. no question that I don't want to answer. <laughs> yeah, that's I, right. I will try my best to answer all the questions that's given. Great. <laughs> no, that was a good answer. I think that was a good answer, right, Sir Noy? Diba? It's like, it's not... I mean, if you're a pageant, if you're going to join a pageant, every question will be scary. To be honest, yeah, I think. yeah. But, but if you're prepared for every question, then you will be able to answer the questions yes. with the best Actually, of sir, your Emma, as, I, as I also mentioned with my with my, with the people that they also like help out, it's not really about the type of question or the question itself. It's about how you feel and how you um um look at the question. Your preparation to answer every question because that's true. It's, it's already there. You just have to like get uh, get on with it, right? You don't have any choice that's but true. to answer the question, right? That is true. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for that question, Palabastayo. And also on Kumu, um, Monica, on the app that um, uh, we are also live in right now. I have a friend on Kumu. Her name is Anisa. She's a very good, she's a live streamer and um, a singer. Anisa. And she's my friend. And she's also from Indonesia. Wow. So, yes, Anisa, thank Hello. you very much. She says, oh, Miss Indonesia. Hello, Anisa. Yes. Okay, thank you very much, Anisa, for being here. If you have a question for your... And Anisa, learn to speak Tagalog only from, from streaming on this app. So now wow. she sings Taga, Filipino songs. She sings a lot of wow. Filipino songs. We love Anisa. Thank you. Proud Indonesian, Whoa. Anisa said. Of course. Thank yes. Yes. Thank you very much. Another flag bearer of Indonesia right here. Thank you, Anisa. Now, another question. Oh, I love this one. 
This is from Catherine Joy Poblete. Um, in your mm -hmm. opinion, do you think that swimsuit competition is still relevant in an advocacy-driven pageant like Miss Earth? Ooh. Okay, it's uh, it's this question. Uh, somehow, some people were uh, always asked about this. So my answer will be like, it's not about what is the competition, but what's the purpose of that competition? In this swimsuit competition, in this Miss Earth competition, it's not about looking women sexually, like uh, how sexy they are, but it is to look how fit is their body, how firm is their body, how healthy is their body. So it's not about what is the competition, but what is the purpose? So it's not a negative. I think the swimsuit competition in Miss Earth, it's not a neg negative, negative thing because the purpose is positive to see how firm, how fit is our body as a queen because we need to also as a Miss Earth, we need to be healthy and mm -hmm. we need to also represent the nature like we what we're doing because one one way to uh, be one way to be able to do our advocacies and also to be a good example is by being fit uh, mm -hmm. doing sports or exercise regularly. So I think that's why the swimsuit competition is still going on on uh, Miss Earth 2021 also. So it's not that about is right. what is the competition, but what is the purpose of the competition. Yes. 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 There you go. Yeah, then the, yeah, then the, yeah, that's actually the real reason for Emma, right? We were right, we were right. Uh, we were actually asked the organization as well, what is the um, purpose of the figure in form part? And then True. they said, Miss Earth, the Miss Earth Queen is not going to be there to like do photo shoots and do fashion shows. She's gonna be there to work. You're gonna be there yes. to like do the tree planting, to do the dirty work. And if you're going to do that, you need to have a fit body. Exactly what you said, Monica. Yes. 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 Thank you very much. At least she knows why. Good job. That's true. That is true. Also, um, Palabas Tayo is saying one of our friends also. Um, is teaching in Indonesia. She's a Filipino teacher in Indonesia. Hello. Hi, Nako. <laughs> uh, there, oh, sorry. Hi, Nako. There you go. So another teacher, another. we know another Filipino teacher in Indonesia who's going to say, Hi, Nako. There you Hi, go. Nako. Thank you very much for that. <laughs> On Kumu Parsua, Black Canary. Hello, Ati Chona. Thank you very much for being here with us right now. And that completes our segments Yay. here with... Yeah. Monica! Yes! There you go. So, uh, Sir Noy, yes, anything else that yes, you'd like actually, to ask? Actually, Monica? Monica, we were about to end this really special episode that we had with you. And you know what? We don't want it to end because you have, you're really a woman who has a lot and a, a lot of things to say about who you are and your advocacy. And that is why we want to end, not really end, end, but then end it, this part of ours. Oh, with a very special gift for you, okay? We have actually some special messages from special people who are here to support you all throughout your journey for Miss Earth 2021. Sir Eman, can we now Hi. watch our videos? Let's watch this. Hi, Monica. This is Mr. Dudes, and I would like to wish you the best in this competition. I am very cognizant about the time and effort that you put into this patch and from day one up to this very moment. The struggles and the personal challenges that confronted you on the side in the process of preparing for this pageant have been a test on your strength as a woman of the earth. And you managed to rise above above the trials and tribulations that you encountered and that is why I am extremely proud of you. You are such a beautiful woman in and out. You are a beautiful soul, a smart person and the pride of Indonesia. I am wishing you the best in the Miss Earth 2021 beauty pageant and I am praying so hard that you will be the first Indonesian queen to clinch a good placing in this edition. 
But whatever happens, you're still a winner for all of us because I know that you have been doing your very, very best to give a really good fight. Please carry the Indonesian flag. Hold it high enough for the whole earth to see that you are the best bet of the country in the Miss Earth 2021. I love you, Monica. Good luck! Hello everyone, I am Bagas, the representative of Eljon Indonesia, who is the license holder of Miss Earth Indonesia. And I would like to say good luck for our Miss Earth Indonesia, Monica Francisca Conado, who will have a solo life with official media partner Miss Earth 2021, Miss Earth Crown. Wow, thank you so much for inviting our queen. Good luck, Monica. Thank you. Well, I didn't even know that you prepared all of this. I'm so touched. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, Mr. Dudes, and thank you, Bagas. Pak Bagas, thank you so much. So actually, I I share with, I think I share with Sir Dudes about my struggle during this preparation for Miss Earth because I was positive COVID-19. I was, uh, I was isolated for a month. 10 days and even 10 days in the hospital and then just a month ago my family in my hometown my mom my sister my brother and my grandfather my grand grandmother and my uncle and my aunts are positive we're COVID-19 positive oh, okay. my grandfather passed away <laughs> and the week after my uncle passed away so it's really a hard situation a hard a hard part of my life a hard uh, somehow it's a part mm. it's a hard times but thank god thankfully i could still join the miss earth 2021 competition and i'm still here with all of the supports from the sir dudes from the from indonesians philippines and also from my Aljon Foundation Indonesia, the license holder of Miss Earth Indonesia. I'm so thankful for all of this support, for all of the people who supported me. Yes, and of, yes. Course, oh. and of course, both of you. Oh, yeah, of course. Thank you. I'm so yeah. You prepare this without me knowing. <laughs> <laughs> we, yes, because you deserve it. This is your you. this is your Thank show you. so this is this show is for you so we prepared all of those for you and yes. uh, we've seen just want to shout out at the glow hello at the glow hi at the glow and of course, again, thank you, Sir Dudes and uh, Sir Um Bagas for the uh, for those messages. You know what? Um, this might be the end of our show tonight, Monica. But I have a feeling, we have a feeling we're gonna be able to see you sometime soon after the coronation Again. because yes, that's true. we I have hope. a big 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 feeling that you're gonna be up there and we hope that uh this interview is gonna help you like have the right mindset and uh, you know the winning um the winning heart to really go all the way yes. and give indonesia its very first placement at miss earth during Amen. this year all right thank you yes. do course. my best to represent indonesia Thank yes, you. Yes, thank you very much. Thank you very much. But Noy, there's a random comment here. Palabas Tay is asking, is Noy sitting on a rocking chair? No, I'm I'm sitting on the bed. <laughs> I'm sitting on the bed, so I'm doing it like <laughs> I hate you. Palabas Tay. <laughs> yes. Yes, yes there you go. And Sir Dudes, up. wait. Sir Dudes is saying something. You're always welcome, Noy. Thank you for inviting her. Thank you, Emma. Thank, thank you, Sir Dudes. Yes. And um, maybe, Sir Eman, this is a perfect time for Monica to invite all of yes. our fans to what's going to happen this week. Because I think after the um, eco um, interviews or the intelligence round, you still have two more important preliminary rounds right coming up. Maybe you can tell us about that. Yeah, so we still have a pre-judging round, which is the fitness and form and also long gown competition and poise pre-judging of poise so stay tuned on miss earth fan page and also youtube and i still need your support and prayers i will still also do my best thank you thank you Yay. very much yes 
we've seen Monica's performance in the Echo Intelligence round. She did a really great job. So we're excited for your other rounds this week. And of course, we are excited to see the upcoming action on Miss Earth 2021. So let's all watch out for that. Earthlings, the competition is just heating up. It is time for us to come back and show our support for Miss Earth 2021, right? What else can you say, Noi, before we go? Yes, and speaking of um, the preliminary competitions, watch out for our um, release of our hot picks for the yes. three categories. Okay, yes. and then we're going to, of course, prepare for a special pageant roundup episode wherein we give um, the fans, the Earthlings, our final hot picks and our commentary on the competition yes. as a whole thus far. So all That's of that true. in the coming weeks. Yes, one Earthling mentioned a few weeks ago, we want to see the green screen back. And yes, the green screen will be Yay. back um, soon. So we, uh, watch out for that. So with that, thank you very much, everyone. And we hope that you enjoy this episode. We definitely enjoy this episode with Monica right now. And um, we hope that you catch us again. We have more queens coming up, though this is a very, 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 very memorable episode. So, and you can still watch this if you've missed this or if you are just coming in now and you missed the first part of the episode, you can still watch this because this will be on replay on the Miss Earth Ground Facebook page and on the MECDC YouTube channel. So this is going to be here forever forever <laughs> so thank you very much everyone and we hope you have the rest of we have a good rest of a wednesday of your wednesday night is it wednesday yes it's a wednesday night thank you very <laughs> yes, much guys bye 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 earthlings bye thank earthlings you, thank you thank you for evan thank you anisa thank you bye thank you everyone